going on, everybody? Welcome to Casa de Nerd. Here we game. I am the Mad Irishman. And it's Roguelike Wednesday. So we're playing some more Tome. Because I had a hell of a lot of fun last week when we played. And I've been playing a little bit offline as well. <clears throat> trying to learn the game, get better at it. I would, uh... I would not classify myself as better, or even good, or even passable at this point. Uh, but I'm getting there. And I'm having fun doing it, which really, when you get down to it, is what it's all about. Uh, this is a challenging game, but I do like my roguelike, so I accept that challenge. And, uh, yeah. If you haven't uh, checked this game out, and you're a fan of anything roguelike... Sorry, got a little loud in my ear there. Uh, it is available on Steam. I think it's seven bucks. Uh, you can also pick it up from uh, te4.org, which is the website, and it's actually free. Uh, the Steam release, I think, comes with some extra stuff. I'm not sure what it is, um, but you can get the base game from the website for free. If you want to try it out before you commit, I mean, seven bucks is seven bucks. It's not expensive, but this game's got a load of content and you get what you pay for, uh, in that case. And a whole lot more, not to the strange what's going on. How's, uh, what was it? X three. Is that what you're playing tonight? Shout out to nod to the strange who was playing mountain blade Warblade, The, um, Middle Earth mod pack. Really neat stuff there. Go go check him out. Show him some love. Uh, I have... I think two characters that are still alive. Oh, no. I just have the one. <laughs> I'm like, to show cockpits in the ships. Nice. Uh, I had a couple other characters that I was making progress with, including a guy that was like level 12 or level 13, and... Um, Ended up biting off more than I could chew. As is the custom here. So this is the only guy I got left on my laptop. I have uh, an alchemist as well that I've been trying to trying to learn. Because they're supposed to be a kind of beginner friendly class. But uh, we got this berserker and we're doing alright with it. So I say we just jump in both feet first into this pool. And uh, you know, see where it takes us. Maybe we sink, maybe we swim. We're going to find out. Uh, I apologize for not streaming yesterday. I uh, was sitting on the couch. Oh my god, I got so much crap in my inventory. Uh, I was sitting on the couch. Uh, I got done with work a little early. And I started messing around with C-Block. <laughs> Which, I don't know if you've ever played C-Block, but... I don't know why this didn't uh, why this didn't work. Um, it's it's a real time suck. It's a uh, factorial mod pack, and all of a sudden it was like six o'clock. Like, well, <laughs> I guess I forgot to stream today. <laughs> so I apologize for that. I didn't really have anything planned, but you know that's not really the point. All right, so we must have just made it to town. Uh, we gotta sell a bunch of this stuff. Pays up to 10 gold, so we just gotta make sure we don't sell anything above 10 gold, which we really don't have anyway. Uh, this leather belt versus our... Uh... No, I would not like you to do that at all. Uh, Mine star we gotta get rid of. Accuracy plus two dex. Actually, hold on a second. We gotta, we gotta maybe check our uh, our current equipment before we before we start selling crap here. So we can just equip this ring because we've only got one ring on. Uh, leather belt of transcendence. It's physical save. Oh, that's right. We got this the size category belt. It actually makes us bigger, which. 
Did we? Oh, we went as an elf. We should be the standard size category. I don't know that we need to be bigger. Uh, spell save. It gives us physical power, though. Which is an improvement over the belt we're wearing. So maybe we'll go with this. Make ourselves bigger, and we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, this cloak is not going to be any better at all. In fact, the cloak we have somehow gives us six armor. And our plate mail, our iron plate armor, gives us 12. That's funny. Uh, we got some leather boots, which we're already wearing. Uh, some iron boots, that gives us four armor. These only give us two... Regenerate stamina, though, and infravision. I don't remember stamina being a big problem with this class yet. Boots of speed, that's only one armor, though. Gauntlets of strength. Apparently, we already have some gauntlets of strength. We do. These are polar ones. These are standard ones. All right, so these are worse. Uh, this is plus two strength. This allows us to breathe in water, which... I don't know if that's useful. I really don't. But, uh... Your strength is nice. We're losing that 10 to physical save. That's pretty brutal. Okay, let's sell all the rest of this crap, then. And we'll see if maybe there's anything here in town to buy. All right, that's all that. Uh, we're pretty much... I probably should have checked this before I hopped back in there, but we're pretty much all aboard the two-handed weapon train with this guy. So let's just see if there's anything that's obviously uh, better in terms of uh, raw power. There is not. So sell, sell... Making some money. Uh, these are important for the alchemist I'm playing as. Not so important for me as a berserker, as far as I can tell. But we'll get rid of those. Runes, I haven't entirely decided uh, how I should handle yet. So I'm just going to hang on to them. Uh, this guy is more powerful than this guy, so we'll get rid of that guy. We got this lucky halfling foot, which is kind of funny. Uh, I don't know what we have equipped right now, but we'll get rid of it. Yeah, and I haven't figured out, like, white is basic and then green is magic, but then there's also, uh, this kind of orange color, and there's also purple that I've seen, and blue. And I haven't figured out exactly how those tiers work yet. I, I imagine I could just look it up, but I, you know, I'm dumb and lazy, so I haven't done it. <laughs> oh, we got this pickaxe in here, that's right. Because we wanted the uh, light damage and the armor penetration. Okay, so uh, this is an herbalist. Probably not anything our um, berserker is going to be interested in. Uh, we should check Swordsmith. Okay, knives and daggers, don't want that. Swordsmith, we might check out, though. We've got this great sword. Disillusioned, what's going on? Our, uh, oh, excuse me, how are things? That's, uh... Oh, that's actually kind of cool. So, um... You can move in all eight directions with the number pad in this game. I, having played games that use WSAD most of my life, uh, I just realized I can hit like S and D at the same time and it'll force me to move diagonally so I don't have to use the number pad. Kinda cool. Uh, if you see me doing anything visually stupid, like, hey dummy, that don't, don't do that, like that's bad, or if I'm, uh, 
misunderstanding a concept, uh, feel free to chirp in. Uh, the only thing I ask is I don't really know much about the storyline in this game, so just don't spoil that. But as far as gameplay mechanics or, uh, like, hey, keep an eye out, you know, in this area, there might be a boss or an item or something. Something like that, like, light smattering, sprinkling of spoilers. Yeah, yeah, like if I see something called head remover and I'm like, hey, I should put my head in here. Uh, feel free to be like, ah, maybe not. I mean, it's still your game, but maybe not. <laughs> uh, so this is a little worse on armor, but a hell of a lot better on fatigue. But like I said, fatigue, as far as I know, hasn't been an issue with this guy. Uh, we don't do shields. <laughs> no, 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 no. We don't do that here. <laughs> yeah, I saw something about that, and I've been meaning to look it up because more than once I've gotten my ass handed to me by, uh, by things because I entered an area. I was like, oh, what's this? And then, oh, you're dead. So, I should, uh, I should definitely... This actually looks really good. It's only minus two armor, but it's plus two to defense, and it halves the amount of fatigue it's giving us. Plus, it's giving us uh, arcane and spell save, which I don't really care about. But it's not bad. It's definitely probably better than what we have, even though we are taking uh, the two hit to our armor. So, I don't remember. Ex so, yeah, okay. I, I definitely use stamina with this guy. So, saving stamina is uh, is a good thing. I think maybe we'll pick this up and uh, we'll we'll check it out. We'll keep the other one in case we need to swap back to it. But uh, yeah, all this was giving us was just flat armor and a bunch of fatigue. Where this is at least giving us less fatigue, a little bit of defense, which is kind of like dodge, I guess. And then it does give us some spell save if someone decides to, you know, sling a magic missile at us. Uh, we don't do range stuff. That's like mind stones. Uh, that's that. Where's the dude? There's a dude in this town that... And maybe it doesn't with this class or with my race. That I think there was a dude in this town that unlocked the... Uh, the Colosseum. This guy? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Shady Kornak man, a tall hooded man, looks at you, stares at you. Yes, yes! You look like a promising warrior indeed. I have an offer, Elf. You see, I'm an agent for the arena. I look for promising warriors that can provide a good show for our audience. Perhaps you are strong enough to join. All you need to do is beat three of my men in battle, and you shall be rewarded. I am strong. What do you have to offer? I did this with the Bulwark, and it wasn't too bad. Uh, so I'm hoping it shouldn't be uh, terrible with the Berserker either. Uh, I have wealth and glory to offer, and some very useful combat experience from fighting our men. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Uh, excellent. Great fighter is always willing to head into battle. You certainly won't regret meeting us indeed, so you ready to fight? Yep, let's do it. Okay, follow him. Alright, agent of the arena. Uh, so basically there's this dude, and then there's two other dudes that we're gonna have to go deal with. He's out of range, but now he's not. Uh, he used heave, which I guess sent us flying. Can I see what this does? I tagged him for 102. He used heave, which I guess is just a like throw me back thing. But I rocked his fucking face with that charge. Uh, let's see, what else can we do here? War shout, he's not in range. Uh, we could go into Berserker Rage, but I don't think we need to do that just yet. So I think we're just going to have to gut it and run at him. Uh, he tagged us for a little bit of damage. But uh, yeah, he's moving quick. Look here, dickbag. You're just mad that I'm going to kill you next attack. Just like that. <laughs> Alright, now we've got... Uh, who do we got here? A gladiator. 
Uh, we're not going to be able to get a rush off of him. Uh, he's going to rush us and uh, daze us. Let's hit him with the war scream. So he's confused and brain locked. And uh, let's just get after him here. Oh, that wasn't much of a problem. Arcane Blade. So he's kind of like a spell sword, magic fighter type thing. Uh, we're just gonna get after him here. Got him. Cool. Uh, well done, Elf. I knew you had potential. The rogue takes off his hood, showing a fairly young but unmistakably battle-hardened man. My name is Rej. I work for the arena to recruit great fighters who can give a good show and not die in two blows. You are one of those indeed. Uh, especially since I'm technically partially undead. So, yeah. <laughs> I won't keep you away from your adventures. I was there long ago. Uh, I was there too long ago. We can make you a true champion, beloved by many in battle, bathing in diamonds. As you travel back to Dirth in the company of the rogue, you discuss your battles in the forest. He provides you with great insight in your combat techniques, plus two generic talent points. Yes. So, I haven't figured out how uh, it works yet. Oh, he dropped some stuff. Uh, El Mage Staff, gross. None of those other guys dropped anything, so we're going to get out of here. Um, there's more to do in the arena based on uh, the achievements. I just haven't survived long enough to get back to it, I guess. Um... Yeah, so that went pretty good, I think. But yeah, for those of you who uh, who missed it last time, you'll notice that I may only have 257 life, but I actually don't die until I'm at negative 120. So I can actually go into negative health before I die. That's what this little tiny sliver of black here is. That's actually zero health. And then I don't die until I hit this. I uh, found a random potion of viscous liquid. And... In real life, you never stick your hand in an unknown viscous liquid or drink an unknown viscous liquid. But it was fairly early on. I was only like level four. I was like, well, if it kills me, it fucking kills me. Like, who cares? And it made me partially undead. So that's fun. We got that going for us. <laughs> uh, so we got, fuck, we got some stats. We got some class points. We got some generic points. I'm liking where we're at here. Um, so as a berserker, let me see here, uh, healing is good, in 25, eh, it's not bad, we probably don't have to increase this at all, uh, combat accuracy is never a bad thing, weapons mastery is never a bad thing, vitality for extra life. This is not a bad thing to at least get a point in because one point gives us an 18% chance to randomly recover from a stun effect. And then as we level up, that chance goes up. You have diminishing returns, but it adds more types of things you can heal from randomly. So we're going to put at least a point in that. Uh, death Dance. Absolutely. fucking lootly. Um, and I think Execution... I think is another one that as soon as we can get there, we're going to get. We're a couple levels off of that yet, but uh, Death Dance looks like it's really good. Uh, spin around, extending your weapon in a radius of two and damaging all targets around you for 176% weapon damage. Uh, and at level three, all damage done will also make targets bleed for 38% damage over five turns. Like, we're probably going to want to get this to at least level three, if not all the way to level five. Um, Shattering Blow. Probably not a bad. Uh, let's put a point into that just so we have it on our hotbar there. Because that doesn't look bad either, as we can try to maybe reduce the armor of somebody. Um, that, uh, maybe they're a little heavier armored. Uh, might give us a chance to get a killing blow on them. Still got more generic points over here. Uh, I think maybe uh, Gift of the Woods. You know, maybe we get that up to level 3. What's Guardian of the Wood? That's eh, not terrible. Uh, 
Fuck off. I can summon tree ants. You can see the value in that. Although, I mean, I would I would think that would be a little more valuable if I was someone like a ranger or an alchemist or something like that, but I can see the value in that. Uh, light armor training, don't fucking care. Uh, thick skin we should do, and in fact, let's raise that so we can get... Like, it's just a flat damage reduction. 4% across the board. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Uh, we need con 32 to get it up another level. Uh, but it's probably not a bad idea to throw in more con anyway. I think Dex is going to pay us some dividends too for the accuracy. We'll put a couple points into that. We'll put a couple more points into that, and then we'll do another point in the strength. And then we're, ba we're basically going to completely neglect cunning, willpower, and magic. We're going to focus mostly on strength, and then kind of split it a little bit between dex and con, I think. Alright, so that's our level up. Very, very nice. It's a nice... Alright. Let's get out of here. So now we've got uh, Death Dance and Shattering Blow. And we're going to move those kind of down this way. And then uh, we're going to move that there. I have a reason for doing this. Uh, I like to have my healing stuff kind of next to each other. But I've already got it in my head that 8 is Rush. So that always has to be at 8. Because <laughs> I moved it and then I kept hitting the wrong button in a fight and it got me killed. All right, eight is rush. It forever shall be rush. This is generally accepted as truth. All right, so let's see here. What do we got here? Madness of Ages. Uh, we can do the Heart of Gloom. Hidden Treasure and Trollmire. Uh, I think, yeah, we were in Trollmire and our inventory got full, so we had to leave. So we're going to go back to Trollmire. And we're going to try to finish this guy off. 